as you may know, this week is severe weather awareness week. Many counties sounded sirens this morning at 10 a.m. But where is the best place to go if you hear a siren for real, especially if you don't have a basement? Local 5's Dave Downey joins us with more tips. Dave. Yes, yeah, Samantha, obviously a basement is the way to go if you have one, but of course, some people don't. So let's say we get we're going to have our virtual tornado form here on the right side of our graphic. There, there's the different places you can go, obviously, within your house when that tornado forms. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine different areas from the deck to the garage to the bedroom, even to some stairs where that leads to the downstairs. Let's say you don't have a downstairs. Where are the best places to go within the house? Somewhere interior, even if the bathroom, I, I want to kind of stay away from the bathroom there. If there's no window there, you're good there. The hallway in the middle, stairs to the basement. I would say in this situation, the closet is the best. You have a bunch of walls protecting you there, no windows. But of course, the basement is kind of supersedes them all. It's the best place out there. Uh, obviously, the deck is not. So the basement or the closet here, and this is kind of what we saw back in Madison County. Yeah, we did see some deaths, but a lot of people uh, were able to survive the tornado as well. Like I said, a bathroom was good, but you know, even with the net four tornado, we had people that went into a basement and their whole house was destroyed and they were actually out, out exposed from the outside um, because it leveled the house. So they were safe, um, but again, I mean, some homes don't have basements, and that's what we want to say. Go into an interior room, get away from the windows, and, and stay ducked down.